And we have been seeing more numerous incidents of reduced visibility, especially out in our western counties. And that's, of course, the reason for that ABC 7 first alert. Strongest winds out here. And we talked about, you know, around Deming, Interstate 10, Highway 180. Then you get a Highway 9, Highway 11. Uh, visibility has drastically dropped. And a lot of that blowing dust and sand continues, even around the Las Cruces area. And whenever we get that camera up in Las Cruces, we can show you that as well. But look at the wind gusts. We'll look at the area lakes. We got white caps there on Elephant Butte. Look at 56 mile an hour gusts, 48 nearly 50 in Deming, 40 for you folks in Las Cruces. We're 25 right now out at the El Paso Airport and nearly 40 there in Otero County and Alamogordo. So we expect these winds to really continue to peak out up until about 8 o'clock or so. All right, there's the camera at New Mexico State there, and you can see that jumping around in the winds and some of that reduced visibility out there as well with the blowing dust and sand, which continues to be lofted into the atmosphere. And if you look at our neighborhood weather net sites, not too bad. Motwood Putnam out at the Rioso Airport. Here's your current temperature, 59. Gusts out there at 45 miles per hour. And if you look at our visibility out there right now, 10 is best. Where you see 10s, good visibility. Where you see the lower the number, the worse it is. So Deming out in Luda County, right there at two mile visibility. Down at a little bit in Las Cruces, down a little bit there in Alamogordo at seven. We project it to get a little bit worse. Not gonna be, you know, totally bad out there, but certainly the visibility is gonna be coming down a bit. So we're anticipating those gusts of 40 from now until about eight o'clock tonight. Then gradually, the winds will start to come down after 8 o'clock. Not totally going to go away. If you look at our wind gust tracker, and you notice here by 8 o'clock, here's the wind speeds. Notice they're still up just a bit. The winds gradually start to come down once we head towards the 9 o'clock hour. You can see how they gradually weaken by late tonight and throughout the morning hours tomorrow. Speaking of the weekend, I think Saturday, not going to be too bad. Peak wind gust tomorrow at 30. Then the winds are going to start to pick up once we head into your Sunday. And Sunday is going to be the day that we could see some reduced visibility. We're going to take a look at our dust tracker that will be coming up in the next half hour. In the meantime, 7 o'clock tonight, 70, 9 o'clock, 63. By 11 o'clock, we'll be at 58. The winds again continue to weaken. 30, the peak wind gusts tomorrow. Out of the west, out of the west on Sunday at 40. And then into next week, the winds don't look too bad. Maybe in that breezy category once we head into your Thursday and Friday. All right, let's talk about your forecast. 70 degrees tomorrow, a little cooler day behind a cold front. 67 on Sunday. The winds will be up a little bit more on Sunday. There's Monday at 62. Temperatures dropping down to about 58 once we head into Tuesday, and then we'll gradually work our way up to right around 70 by Thursday and Friday, Mark. All right, John.